Hey guys, uh, Miguel here with Spectrum. Uh, we just announced our new F4 flight controller recently. Uh, this will be running race flight. And some people have been wondering why we didn't include a receiver built onto the board. Um, there are a few reasons for that, but this actually pairs really nicely with the new telemetry receiver. There's some hidden pins under it if you take the connector off which can be used to stack the receiver directly on the flight controller. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Alright, so I got the receiver out of the wrapping. So, as you can see there, there are three pins. Here, let me point these out. Three pins right here, which are your standard servo um, order signal, uh, power and ground, and they match these middle three pins, let me focus that, these three middle pins on the flight controller and you can stack that on there. Um, the flight controller actually has a special 5 volt rail so as many of you guys know this receiver doesn't run off 3.3 volts anymore, it runs off 5 volts or there's a voltage range but 5 volts it's like your standard voltage. Um, this 5 volt pin will work off USB and battery power, which is something I know many people don't like about 5 volt receivers. They have to plug in the battery on a lot of flight controllers, but this will work off USB and 5 volts from the battery. So let's um, go ahead with removing the connector. So the best thing to use for this, or what I've found, is on your soldering iron using a big flat tip and that way what we're going to do is we're going to heat all pins simultaneously and then remove the connector off and that will mean no having to sock or <laughs> no having to suck solder out or use any um that copper uh strand stuff to suck it out this will be much easier so let's place this right here on my helping hands all right so, we got our tweezers over here. I'm going to try to just grab this connector and heat these up. There we go. Pretty simple without having to suck any solder out doesn't matter if those holes still have solder in them because we're not using those. So now you have your three pins left there. Focus that. There you go. So now we're going to take this header that comes with the flight controller. We'll solder these onto the flight controller and straighten them out using some pliers. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to swap the soldering iron tip to solder the pins. So while the soldering iron is cooling, forgot about this connector here. This is your voltage sensing connector. Now assuming you're using our flight controller, it will already support serial telemetry. So um, you won't need to use this port to detect voltage or anything since the flight controller will take that and send the data to the receiver. So for this connector, we don't have to be as careful. Oops, we don't have to be as careful removing it. Um, we still want to try to not break stuff, but since we're not planning on using those pads anymore, we can uh, go ahead and not worry about destroying them. So just pop that off there. And actually the pad stayed intact there. So if you wanted to solder wires directly to it later on, maybe you could. All right, so I got my normal sharp tip back on my soldering iron. So I set up my three pit or my three pin header here on my helping hands and I'm going to put that on the flight controller first. Make sure that's flush against the board to have the less spacing possible between the receiver and the flight controller. 
So that's on there. And we're going to want to bend these pins up vertically to put the receiver on. They don't have to be perfectly straight as long as you can slide the receiver through it. All right, and grab our receiver and slide that on just like that. Or maybe not just like that, but all right, there we go. So that's how it is, and if you want, you can put some uh, some double-sided tape in between the receiver and the flight controller just to be safe. But the only thing that will be contacting there is that cap will just lie on the gyro. Um, but it won't really short anything, so it should be fine. So let's go ahead and solder that. Put this back on here. Make sure the receiver's flush on there. Do one pin first, make sure it's held flat on there, make sure you have the level you want, and then go ahead and do the other two. Okay. There it is. And we can go ahead and trim these pins off. And there it is. We can put our antennas back on. You have a nice compact build for your receiver and flight controller put together. Alright, that should be it. Thanks for watching.